you're close uh, against a very very good side uh, I think uh, we defended fantastically uh, some some last ditch blocks uh, some good team shape about us and uh, but it wasn't to be to we couldn't uh, keep them at bay because they, they started creating loads of problems for us down the sides uh, bombing on with their full backs but, uh, to be the one up for so long I think uh, they deserve some praise. Yeah, they're good players uh, all around, uh, but I thought some some of my players did uh, did really well as well. And um, a goal, I thought that was excellent. The way we, of course, it's a deflection, but the, how it started with Jordan much breaking up, uh, going forward quickly, realizing you can't go through on that side, switching play over with Wits to Bellis. And so that was a nice goal. We deserve. I think we played well, especially in a end of season game where a team is playing for nothing uh, just for his own pride and evolution i think the boys they, they could find the right attitude the right approach that they couldn't find in the first half against norwich today they found from minute one the team was there the quality was there we played well we create chances the result at half time was a big contradiction because we had all of the game and all of the chances and Cardiff was winning 1-0. But in the second half, they pushed even even harder. The dynamic was even higher. Um, Andre was an extra an extra man, so the fifth man in attacking areas and in finishing areas. And I think we really deserve the victory and I'm obviously happy. It means nothing. We know that we finish third, not second or fourth. It doesn't matter this result. But the feeling is good. The, the, the team played well. And uh, just a bit sad because today you, you, you can understand how much we missed Oscar in the last two or three months. But uh, it's a good way to, to finish the season. It's a victory and a good performance. I think everyone can see signs there that there are players there uh, who uh, who are, have got the quality, and of course, the difference in quality started showing at the end because we play against the world's best players there. So, uh, but uh, we're positive. Important to keep hold of the most important ones, uh, but there'll be some changes. Definitely, we'll have to uh, to uh, also strengthen uh, some positions, and uh, we'll be ready for the season when it starts in. Uh, the 9th of August. They are champions. They they have four more points than than Chelsea. They have two more points than than Liverpool. They are not guilty of uh, Aston Villa, Chelsea, and and Chelsea Sunderland. It's nothing to do with uh, with them. So I think they they are champions. They deserve the players have done really well focusing on what's uh, important for them that's to perform on the pitch and um, the dialogue between the club and the fans I think that's very important and I'm sure it'll uh, uh, one day it will be uh, solved you can click your fingers and success uh, arrive this season almost happened almost happened but uh, for the last time Aston Villa, Chelsea and Chelsea Sunderland <laughs> make it more difficult. Both on and off the pitch is going to be uh, uh, important. The spirit of a, of a squad uh, in, uh, in the championship is just as important as the uh, a factor, as the quality at times, because it's a mentally very testing league. You've got, about, you've got 46 league games in nine months, you've got cup games there, but you play all the time, so You've got to love it, even though it's a rainy night on a, tu a rainy Tuesday night. Play football. <laughs>